the uh, the press is trying to give men some some credit in all this. We tend to focus on women when it comes to reproduction, but there have been some reports saying COVID can affect men and particularly testicular function and sperm. Uh, this shouldn't be surprising because when you get a viremia, meaning when you get a virus throughout your body, you can probably isolate the virus from most organs. If you had a biopsy of the liver or the spleen or any other uh, structure, you would probably find the virus. And not surprisingly, it can be in the testes as well. Now, while it might on the short term decrease sperm production and even decrease testosterone production, uh, there's no evidence that after recovering from the virus, men have long-term infertility. But short-term, it could impact sperm quality. In addition, if there is virus in the semen, um, it could lead to sexually uh, sexual transmission of the virus, that is with intercourse, the male giving it to the female. But of course, it presumes this couple is intimate and just breathing near each other, kissing each other, would have a similar risk. So while I think these things are, are worth noting and continued studies are required, I don't think this is a reason to postpone your efforts at conception, but certainly if you've had any uh, symptoms of COVID or have documented a uh, case of COVID, it would be especially important to get sperm quality tested to be sure it hasn't been impacted negatively. And you certainly should delay uh, attempting to have a baby until you've completely recovered from the COVID virus, if you did have it, and you've tested negative as a follow-up for the RNA or the virus itself.